in this video i will show you a nodal analysis circuit with a dependent source now let me read out the problem example one using nodal analysis calculate the currents i a and i1 see i a is the current that is flowing through this 50 ohm resistor and i1 is the current that is flowing through this branch this point to this point the current that is flowing through this branch is our i1 this circuit contains two voltage sources one of independent voltage source of 80 volt and another of dependent voltage source of 75 i a this i a is the current that is flowing through this 50 ohm resistor okay so let me start our analysis using nodal analysis so in first step we have to take a reference node in which we will des designate the voltage of equal to zero so let's say this is our, as this is our ground this is our reference node as this is a reference node therefore it will have a voltage of vo equal to zero volt and we have only single node here let's say the node voltage this is our node number one and the node voltage of this node is equal to v1 as this is a voltage source but current dependent voltage source let's say 75 i a equal to a voltage source of v b if i mark the circuit with all the node voltages then our new circuit will look like this circuit okay so this is our circuit and you will see that in this circuit th as there is no current source that means all the currents are unknown currents that means when I apply nodal analysis in the circuit I have to take all the currents outgoing from this node this I will be outgoing this I1 will be outgoing and let's say the current that is flowing in this branch is our current I as this current I2 is also an unknown current therefore it will also be outgoing from this node one now let me apply Kirchhoff's current law in this node one before applying the Kirchhoff's current law let me let me give you a reminder how do we calculate the current through a resistor let's say we have a resistor R at this end it has a voltage of Vx and at this end it has a voltage of Vy we know that current always flows from high potential to low potential or higher voltage to lower voltage so let's say the current that is flowing through this resistor is ir and it is flowing in this direction therefore if i want to calculate the value of this ir ir will be voltage difference between these two ends of the resistor r divided by the value of this total resistor you will see that this as this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential therefore the voltage difference will be Vx minus Vy and I will divide this difference with the branch resistance R and that will give us our total current now let me apply KCL to node 1 as there is no current source in this circuit therefore I will take all the unknown currents are outgoing from this node therefore if I apply KCL this I1, I2 and this IA all of them are outgoing and KCL states that in a node or a junction sum of all the incoming currents will be equal to sum of all outgoing currents as there is no incoming current therefore sum of all outgoing currents i2 plus i1 plus ia will be equal to zero now see what is this i2 i2 is the current that is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor and see i2 is flowing in this direction this terminal has a potential of 80 volt and this terminal has a potential of or a voltage of v1 therefore the voltage difference between these two end of the 5 ohm will be v1 minus 80 volt and i will divide this difference with the value of the resistor 5 and it, this will give us our i2 and you see that what is this i o a i a is the current that is flowing through this 50 ohm resistor and you see that this terminal will be at v1 potential and this is at ground therefore it will be zero and divide this difference with 50 so this will give us our i a now how do we calculate this i1 see i1 is the current that is flowing through this branch the branch that is situated from this point to this ground and this branch has a total resistor of 10 plus 50 ohm because in this branch this 10 ohm and this 50 ohm will be in series whatever their position in this branch therefore if i want to calculate the current i1 
this see i1 is flowing in this direction that means this terminal is at higher voltage so i will take v1 and you will see that here we have another voltage source and its negative terminal is here that means from this point to ground we will have a voltage of minus vb b and this will give us our i1 and the total branch resistance will be 25 ohm if i put the value of i2 ia and i1 in our given equation therefore i will get an equation like this v1 minus 80 divided by 5 plus v1 minus minus vbb divided by 25 plus v1 by 50 will be equal to 0 now this vbb is equal to 75 ia therefore i can write see just i'm just simplifying the equation this minus will be multiplied with this minus and it, it will give us plus therefore i can write v1 minus 80 divided by 5 plus v1 plus vb divided by 25 plus v1 by 50 equal to 0 now this vb equal to 75 i a so if i put the value of vb equal to 75 i a our new equation will look like this and see what is this i a i a has a value of v1 by 50 so if i put the value of i a in our given equation therefore i will get an equation like this v1 minus 80 divided by 5 plus v1 plus 75 into i a what is the value of this i a v1 by 50 v1 by 50 and divide this total in with 25 plus v1 by 50 equal to 0 if i solve our equation i will get v1 equal to 50 volt and you will see that what is this ia i have calculated ia equal to v1 by 50 and you will see that v1 is equal to 50 so i can write ia will be 50 by 50 equal to 1 ampere if i know the value of this ia i can easily calculate our v b equal to 75 into ia it will be equal to 75 volt now what was this i1 i1 is the branch current that is flowing through this branch and i have calculated this branch resistance ia equal to the see here i1 will be equal to v1 plus v b divided by 25 so if i just put the value of v1 and v b here you will get uh, we will get our desired i1 and you will see that v1 plus vb divided by 25 will be equal to 50 plus 75 divided by 25 this will give us 5 amperes as i have calculated ia and i1 in this circuit therefore i am done with my circuit analysis okay in this video i will show you another example of nodal analysis circuit with dependent source so let me read out the question using nodal analysis find the power delivered by the dependent source see this is our circuit and in this circuit this circuit contains a current dependent current source see this indicates that this is a current source and 3i1 indicates that this is a current dependent current source and you will see that this i1 is a current that is flowing through this 2 ohm resistor as i have to apply nodal analysis here therefore at first we have to identify the total number of nodes here you will see that this will be a node as we are moving along the same wire therefore this total the indicated region will, will be denoted as node 1 and you will see that this will be our node 2 and you will see that this is our ground as we have to set a reference point therefore this ground will be our reference point see we are going along the same wire therefore this no ground node or reference node will continue up to this so this will be our reference node in the reference node we have to set a ground potential of vo equal to zero and in the node one we will set a node voltage v1 and in the node two we will set a node voltage v2 so, and i1 is the current that is flowing through this branch so this will be our given circuit and i have indicated all the node voltages and currents that is required for this circuit uh, see this is our node number one and this node has a potential of v1 and this node has a potential of v2 and this is our ground node that means at first i have to apply kashoff's current law kcl in node number 
one see in this node on only this 15 ampere current is known and it is incoming and the current that is flowing through this one is unknown therefore let's say this is our i2 and this is our i1 so if i apply kcl here in node 1 I will get this I1 and sum of outgoing currents I1 plus I2 will be equal to 15 ampere see what will be this I1 at this end we have a voltage of V1 and at this end we have a ground voltage of 0 volt therefore our I1 will be equal to I1 will be equal to V1 divided by 2 and what will be this I2 I2 will be the current that is flowing through this 1 ohm see this voltage will be at higher potential so i can write v1 minus v2 divided by 1 and this will be equal to 15 ampere so see v1 minus v2 divided by 1 plus v1 by 2 equal to 15 ampere and our i1 will be equal to v1 by 2 if i take the lcm of these two terms you will see that 2 v1 minus 2 v2 plus v1 divided by 2 will be equal to 15 and if I add all this term and multiply this cross multiply this 2 with this 15 I will get 3 v1 minus 2 v2 equal to 30 and this will be let's say this is our equation number 1 now we have to apply our KCL in node number 2 you will see that only this 3 I1 is our known current the current that is flowing through this I1 ampere will be our unknown current Let's, so that will be our outgoing current the current that is flowing through this 3 ohm will also be our outgoing current because this is an unknown current so this is this will be I4 let's say if I apply KCL in node 2 I will get sum of outgoing current I3 plus I4 will be equal to 3I1 and you will see that this 3I1 will be equal to V1 divided by 2 as I have shown you earlier in this case I1 will be equal to V1 by 2 so now let me simplify this equation so 3I1 equal to V2 minus V1, V1 divided by 1 plus V2 by 3 if I take the LCM of the of this term and this term I will get 3 V2 minus 3 V1 plus V2 divided by 3 and I1 was equal to V1 by 2 so 3 V1 divided by 2 in the left side if I perform record addition and subtraction I will get 3 V1 divided by 2 in the left side and 4 V2 minus 3 V1 divided by 3 in the right side if I cross multiply all this term and simplify I will get 15 v1 minus 8 v2 will be equal to 0 and let's say that will be our equation number 2 this is our equation number 1 3 v1 minus 2 v2 equal to 30 and this is our equation number 2 if i solve our equation number 1 and 2 i will get v1 equal to 40 volt and v2 equal to minus 75 volt as i1 was equal to v1 divided by 2 therefore i will get i1 equal to minus 20 ampere now in the question let's see what are we asked to calculate look at the question we have to find out the power that is delivered by this dependent source that is the power that is delivered by this dependent source and to calculate the power of the that is delivered by this source at first I have to know the voltage difference ac across the terminals in which the dependent source is connected so let's say power delivered is let's say PD equal to will be the voltage difference between this ter terminal and this terminal will be equal to our V and the current that is flowing through this dependent source or the current that is flowing in the branch in which the dependent source is connected as this is a current dependent current source the branch current of this branch will be equal to 3i1 therefore it will be 3i1 and from our calculation I have calculated V2 equal to minus 75 volt and I1 was equal to minus 20 ampere if I perform our record calculation I will get 4.5 kilowatt okay that's it
थैंक यू